What's up guys, it's John Haas, RN, founder of NRSNG, and today we're gonna to talk about cranial nerves. There's 12, you know what, no, no, no. Let's do this different. I'm gonna take my boy Manny and me, we're gonna to go to the coffee shop, let's go, field trip. All right guys, let's hop in the NRSNG. Click it or tick it. All right, cranial nerve number one is the olfactory cranial nerve. This is a sensory nerve. This helps with smell. So as we walk into the coffee shop, we smell the aroma of the coffee. We can smell all that coffee brewing. That is us using our cranial nerve number one. Cranial nerve number two happens when we're about 20 feet away from the barista. We're looking up at the menu. This is our optic nerve. This is a sensory nerve. It helps with vision. So we can see the menu. We can start thinking about our order because from about 20 feet away, we can actually see what's on that menu. Cranial nerve number three is our ocular motor nerve. This is a motor nerve. What it helps with is this is when we're like our pupils are constricting because we're closer to the cash register. We're looking at the items up close, the muffins, the different things that we can order with our coffee. That's cranial nerve number three, the ocular motor nerve. Then we have cranial nerve number four, a motor nerve. This is the trochlear nerve. This helps with the movement, the extrinsic movements of our eye muscles. So as you look at the salesperson, as you put your money down, as you pay, you're using your trochlear motor nerve, cranial nerve number four. Cranial nerve number five is your trigeminal nerve. This is a mixed sensory and motor nerve. When they call your drink name, you clench your teeth, you start to salivate. This is using cranial nerve number five when that drink order is called. So then cranial nerve number six is the abducens cranial nerve. It is a motor nerve. It helps with some extrinsic eye movements. So after they've called your order, you're looking side to side, moving your head, trying to figure out if anybody else ordered that same drink and if that's actually your drink. Cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve. It's also a mixed sensory and motor nerve. It helps with our facial expressions. So once you realize this is your drink, as you go to pick it up, a big smile comes over your face because you realize this is your drink. That is cranial nerve number seven, your facial nerve. Cranial nerve number eight, it's your vestibular cochlear. So use cranial nerve number eight in hearing. You hear someone say, hey, you can sit over here, come sit down by me. That's using cranial nerve number eight, your vestibular cochlear nerve. Cranial nerve number nine is your glossopharyngeal nerve. It's a mixed sensory and motor nerve used for swallowing, used for sensations of the throat. You take a sip of that coffee, you can taste it in your mouth, you can taste it going down. That is cranial nerve number nine, the glossopharyngeal nerve. Then cranial nerve number 10 is our vagus nerve. This is a mixed sensory and motor. Now that we've tasted our coffee, this is monitoring our blood pressure. It's getting our digestive tract rolling. It's stimulating all the glands of secretion. Now that we're drinking this delicious coffee, our cranial nerve number 10, the vagus nerve, kicks into action as a mixed sensory and motor nerve to control those actions. Cranial nerve number 11 is your accessory nerve. This is a motor nerve. So someone next to you kind of looks at you, gives you a weird look as you're tasting your coffee and enjoying that moment. So you turn your head to them and you look at them. That's using cranial nerve number 11. Then we move on to our last one, our cranial nerve number 12, which is the hypoglossal. So after this person next to you turns back around, you stick your tongue at them. The hypoglossal nerve, cranial nerve number 12, helps with the movement of the tongue. So I do wanna leave you guys with just one mnemonic to help you remember everything that we've covered today. The mnemonic I like for remembering the 12 cranial nerves is OOO, to touch and feel, very good velvet, ah. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. If you guys go into the NRSNG Academy lesson, we have this mnemonic plus others and a nice video and outline to help you understand and learn these cranial nerves. All right guys, go out and be your best selves today. Happy nursing.